Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported, the logo file, which I will be using in this tutorial. Reflection map media file and ripple media file, you can download them from below link in the description. You can also download this template for free, link is provided in the description. Now let's start with creating our logo animation. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to 6 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the background layer. Here you can set color of your choice. Now from the project panel, add the logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Now pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo. Select move all attributes into new composition. Perfect. For easy identification, I will rename this layer, I will name it as shadow. Now in effects and preset. Search for tint. Add tint to shadow composition. Set map white color to black. Set amount of tint to 70%. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to the shadow composition. Here you need to set the blur amount. Adjust the blur center. I will position it here. Change blur amount to 95. Perfect. Now for shadow comp, press T to bring up opacity. At 1 second. Create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to 30%. At start, change opacity to 0%. Now near about at 2 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. At 3 seconds. Change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Here I will rename it to outline. Now in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the outline composition. For Vegas, change blend mode to transparent. Change color to white. Segments to one. In image contour, change channel to alpha. Let's change length to 0.15. Change hardness to one. Now at start, create keyframe for rotation. Now go at two seconds. Change rotation to 1, which is 360 degrees. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add glow to outline composition. For glow, change glow threshold to 85%. Change glow radius to 25. Change glow intensity to 2. Now for outline composition, press T to bring up opacity, at 15 frames, create keyframe for opacity, at start, change opacity to, 0%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for opacity, go at 2 seconds, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. 
Perfect, now let's create duplicate of this outline composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. I will rename it as Outline Blur. For Outline Blur composition, remove this glow effect. Now in Effects and Preset, search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Add it to the Outline Blur composition. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this outline composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Place it above all compositions, for Outline 2 composition. Press U to view created keyframes, here we will make changes in rotation keyframes, for start keyframe. Change rotation to, 90 degrees. Now for end keyframe. Change rotation to, 90 degrees. You can see the preview. Perfect, now let's create duplicate of this outline 2 composition. I will rename it as, Outline 2 Blur. For Outline Blur composition, remove this glow effect. Now add the CC Radial Fast Blur effect. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this Outline 2 composition. Place it above all compositions, for Outline 3 composition. Press U to view created keyframes, for start keyframe. Change rotation to, 180 degrees. Now for end keyframe, change rotation to, 180 degrees. You can see the preview. Perfect, now let's create duplicate of this Outline 3 composition. I will rename it as, Outline 3 Blur. For Outline Blur composition, remove this glow effect. Now add the CC Radial Fast Blur effect. Perfect. Now select all the outline compositions, place them at 15 frames. Now from the project panel, add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, press T to bring up the opacity. Add 2 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. Now let's place this composition at 1 second and 15 frames. Perfect. Now let's create our glossy logo composition. Create a new composition. I will name it as glossy logo. Now add the logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to logo composition. Change map white color as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for find edges. Add it to logo composition. Change blend with original to, 80%. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to logo composition. Change blur radius to, 1, iteration to, 1. Perfect, now let's recompose this logo composition. I will name it as logo map. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add the reflection map media file to the timeline. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Hide the logo map composition. For reflection map, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. For reflection map, in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace. Add it to reflection map. In effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to reflection map. In surface, change bump map to logo map. Change softness to 0. Height to 20. Displacement to 300. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob lies. 
Add it to reflection map. In blowiness, change blob layer to logo map. Change softness to 10. Cut away to 0. In shading, change ambient to 10. Change diffusing to 10. Change roughness to 0 0.5. Here you can see, our glossy logo is created, now we will add this glossy logo composition into our main logo animation composition. From the project panel, add glossy logo composition to the timeline. For glossy logo, press T to bring up the opacity, at 15 frames, create keyframe for opacity, at start, change opacity to 0%. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. At 2 seconds and 15 frames, change opacity to 0%. For glossy logo, change mode to screen. Now let's place this glossy logo composition at 1 second and 15 frames. Perfect, now let's add the ripple media file to the timeline, place it above background layer. Now change mode to Overlay. For this ripple, let's enable time remapping. Now we will place this layer at 3 seconds and 15 frames. You can see the ripple effect in the background, if you want to know how you can create this ripple effect. Then watch my transition tutorial on the ripple effect. Now let's extend this layer till the start. Perfect. To make the ripple effect more visible, you can adjust the background color. Now let's change all the composition layers to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change it to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. At 3 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Increase the position value as shown. Now at 4 seconds. Reduce the position value for z-axis. As shown. Now at start of the timeline, we will do the same. Reduce the position value for z-axis. Select these two keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our clean minimal logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.